File formats are one of the unsung heroes of the information age. This may seem like a bold claim, but I'm confident you'll shortly come to believe that. It's fair to say that you and I interact with file formats each and every day, whether at home, at school, or at work. Let's look at some examples. Many of the tasks cross over and also apply whether you're at home, school, or work. Now that we can agree that we interact with file formats in valuable ways, producing and consuming content, let's dig a little bit deeper. Here's a set of categories that represent these file formats. Office productivity, databases, rich media, source code, CAD, zip, analytics, and so on. Within the Office format, such as word processing, spreadsheets, or presentations, many options exist. Some are popular commercially or are open source. Others are common in particular countries, Japan with the Ichitaro format and Korea with Hangul Office. Even database formats continue to evolve with relative newcomer formats like Apache Avro. Image audio and video also continue to change with new compression or encoding schemes. CAD files have also expanded beyond basic design to support new technologies like 3D manufacturing and complex rendering and animation. Within the ZIP format family, compression algorithms and open source versus proprietary result in many variations. And if you're interested in extracting and processing the contents of ZIP files, you need to distinguish between many dozens of formats that use variants of ZIP as their core file format versus actual ZIP files. Within analytics, these file formats represent the proprietary data exports, projects, preferences produced by BI applications. Specialized XML represent formats like XBRL, XLIFF, WML, SMIL, and dozens more. Like with source code, treating each XML schema distinctly is more valuable if you can do that. Cited examples in each category are but a subset of what is in the market representing just the modern formats. There are many more formats within each category. And this is especially true when you account for format variations driven by new versions of a given app, innovations that open source and up and coming proprietary solutions continue to introduce, and legacy applications. Now let's take a look at operations that are commonly performed on file formats outside of the native applications. Step one, really step zero, is the automatic format detection. I call it step zero since if you misdetect the format, then every subsequent operation will likely fail or misprocess in some form. Automatic format detection defines next steps and identifies valuable file attributes. Proper file format detection, most importantly, doesn't rely on the file extension. Have you ever renamed a file extension so you can email it to someone? Or zipped a file up to make it smaller to transfer? And to make this challenge even harder, very different file formats can and do use the same file extension. Here are some subsequent file operations that are commonly performed if you were successful and precise with format detection. Let's talk some about metadata extraction. This includes your typical file properties like title, author, various dates, as well as custom properties. Rights managed data also allows for adding specific tags indicating that a document contains secure or proprietary information. XMP metadata is an ISO standard typically used with image and video formats, as well as PDFs. Even something like metadata extraction is pretty involved. When you think of text extraction, the visible text is what comes to mind. But not all text in documents is clearly visible. You may be surprised that many formats have forms of hidden text, including all of the Office type formats for word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, OneNote, PDF, and many others. Character sets allow computers to represent many alphabets around the world. Sometimes a file format self-identifies the character encoding scheme. Other times, algorithms are needed to automatically detect. And often your goal after extracting text is a downstream operation that expects a particular character set. So conversion to a target character set is required. You might think this applies only to zip file types, where it's natural to have files inside of files. But this also includes email, and even PDFs allow for embedded files, like images, 
or other PDFs in other formats using PDF portfolios. Plus, Office formats allow for embedding other files inside of them. When you make presentations or word type documents, including images or charts is common. And to make matters more complicated, there are different types of embedded files in Office formats. Among encrypted file types are password protected files where proper detection is needed to facilitate opening and to restrict sending outside an organization, and digital rights managed files, which are usually encrypted, requiring special processing to decrypt. Handling extensible rights markup language extraction is a key part of being able to support decryption. There are multiple vendors offering rights management solutions. Microsoft AIP slash RMS, Microfocus Voltage Smart Cipher, and Seclor, to name a few. Preview involves producing a rendition of a document, allowing for viewing without using the original application. On the left is a document in the native application Microsoft Word. The preview may be in the form of a web view or a document view. Preview renditions can look quite close to the original application. I bet you didn't think there were so many things you'd want to do with files. Now that we know more about the file format categories and operations that can be performed, let's look at some use cases that rely on highly capable file format processing. Indexing. Think enterprise or web search. If you want to find or analyze content, you need to understand as many file formats as possible. Inspection. Security vendors offering data loss prevention and similar solutions rely on precise and complete file understanding. Capabilities like accurate format detection and extraction of visible and hidden text are valuable to this use case. Finding or classifying. Think e-discovery or government data access requests, where understanding all file formats and all parts of files is yet again essential. Sharing and collaboration. Think email or cloud storage. Proper file format handling supports regulatory compliance, data security, and quicker access to answers to help avoid consequences like fines, court sanctions, damage to reputation, dissatisfied customers, failed proposals, or data leaks. You may now be wondering how your products and services that depend on successful file format handling can be improved. Microfocus KeyView, the market-leading solution for file format processing, is packaged and licensed in a few different ways to meet those needs. Filter SDK, Export SDK, View SDK, and Panopticon SDK. These SDKs are designed to be embedded into other software products and services. This means they are available on multiple hardware platforms and operating systems. And it also means APIs for C, C++, Java, and .NET are available to make integrating into various programming environments easy. This flexibility allows for diverse deployment options like servers, cloud, and endpoints, all with the same file format processing engine. As of the KeyView 12.8 release, over 1,500 file formats are supported. I hope that you're now more aware of what's involved with file format processing and why it matters. Contact us to join the KeyView community.